PeteTools.com. G'day, 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 guys. Pete here to annoy you again. Hey, what's the old get going on about today? Hey, I've had a couple of emails from you fellas, and you want to know what the hell does a non-touch plasma cutter mean? We've got HF start, non-HF start, non-touch, pilot arc, all sorts of bullshit, guys. And if you're just starting out, how the hell are you supposed to know which one to buy? Yeah! Anyway, guys, same as usual crap. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. And I'll do my best to explain this big secret, guys. <laughs> so, guys, you're saying, what the hell is a non-touch plasma cutter? Well, guys, a non-touch plasma cutter is the modern word for pilot arc. Because I don't think enough people understood what pilot arc meant. So when they sell these machines now, they say it's non-touch. So in other words, you don't have to touch your torch on whatever you're trying to cut. And well, that's pretty complicated, eh, Pete? <laughs> and if you notice with this torch, guys, it's got a guide on it that holds the electrode off the surface that we're cutting, off the metal we're cutting. If you look at this torch that's plugged into this non-pilot arc, or not, or touch plasma cutter, <laughs> So if this is a non-touch, this is a touch. So there you go. We're all touched now. They're just complicating things that they don't have to, I reckon, anyway. All you got to remember, guys, if it's got a guide on it like this, and it has an extra connector on it like this. See, this one here has an extra wire here that screws on here, whereas this one here doesn't. This has just got the earth, the same as the earth here. Got the on-off switch here for the torch, and it's got the lead for the torch here. But if you look, this one here has got the extra wire. Now the one with the extra wire is a non-touch plasma cutter or a pilot arc plasma cutter. The one without the extra fitting for that wire is a touch plasma cutter or a scratch start plasma cutter or whatever the hell you want to call it. But what I've noticed the cheeky buggers do, and especially on Amazon guys, is they'll sell it as a non-touch plasma cutter, like a pilot arc plasma cutter, and it's cheap, you know, like it's under 250 bucks. But if you actually have a look at the pictures, you'll notice that it doesn't have the extra wire down here, like I showed you before. It's the same as this. And also, guys, if you look at the picture, nine times out of ten, it's going to be running a PT31 torch. Now, if they try and sell you a non-touch plasma cutter with a PT31 torch, it's not a non-touch plasma cutter. It's a scratch start plasma cutter. Now, when you go and buy one, especially on Amazon, guys, because I've been watching Amazon lately, make sure you check the pictures of the machine. If it hasn't got that, like I said before, if it hasn't got the extra wire, it'll be a red wire or a green wire or something, then it's not non-touch. It's not pilot arc, in other words. And if it runs this sort of torch, which is a PT31 torch, then it's definitely not non-touch or it's not pilot arc. Because... 99% of these cheaper machines here come with a PT31 torch. So just bear that in mind, guys. I was about to buy one the other day to do a review on it. I thought, wow, that's a cheap non-touch plasma cutter. And then I had a look at the pictures a bit closer, and it was running a PT31 torch, and it didn't have the extra wire there, so therefore they have branded the thing wrong. And I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, or they just don't know what the hell they're selling. So remember, once again, guys, you're running a non-touch plasma cutter, it's going to have a guide on it like so. See the metal guide there that holds the tip off the metal that you're trying to cut? And the torch, the end of the torch that plugs into your machine, is going to have this extra wire on it here. Like I say, it doesn't matter what colour it is, but you'll have a plug like that, and you'll have the main lead connector here, and you'll have this extra wire. If it looks like this, and it hasn't got this extra wire here, it's not a non-touch or pilot arc machine. Non-touch and pilot arc are exactly the same thing, guys. Confused? <laughs> anyway, guys, while I got the machines out, we might as well try and cut something, go. We'll uh, use the non-touch pilot arc plasma cutter first. You can see it there, guys. It's set at 50 amps. So let's try and cut a hunk of shit. Yeehaw! Righty, Odie, coyotes. We've got about 10 mil, 12 mil plate here. Well, we use our non-touch pilot arc machine. Once again, guys, pilot arc means it's got the spacer on it here. Pull the trigger. The flame comes out before you touch your metal. Yeah, Grandma.
cut through that, no worries at all, guys. It's not exactly straight. I might have had too many beers last night and the hands are a bit shaky. Let's do that again. <laughs> Look at that guys, piece of weasels. Yo, that's hot pit. <laughs> and it's still not exactly cutting straight guys, but I'll blame the cold weather. It's cold, my hands are shaking. Yeah. Alrighty -oh, guys, now we'll use a scratched up plasma cutter. Look, this is not the non-touch plasma cutter, this is not pilot arc. So this is running the PT31 torch. Remember guys, I said to you that if it's running a PT31 torch, there's no way in hell it can be a pilot arc or a non-touch machine. This is getting confusing, Pete. And also, look at this one, guys. You pull the trigger. And Pete forgot to connect the air up to the machine. <laughs> so I connected the air up, guys. Pull the trigger. Look what happens. Absolutely nothing. The air just comes out of here, but there's no flame or anything because it's not a non-touch machine. So with this one, we have to touch it on the work before it'll start to cut. And if you notice on this, guys, this hasn't got a guide to hold this off your work because it has to touch the steel. Not confusing at all, guys. So, guys, if you notice here, when I pull the trigger, nothing happens until I touch the metal. Whereas the other one, it started as soon as I pulled the trigger. That's the only difference, basically. There we go, guys. Yeah! Oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> so once again, guys, cuts that no worries at all. Different sort of machine. A little bit slower than the previous machine because this machine is 10 amps less than my other machine. But all in all, still cuts perfectly well. So guys, that's enough bullshit for me today. Remember Pete's golden rule. If it doesn't have a guide on it, like this torch, which is a PT31 torch, then it is a scratch start plasma cutter. And if it has a guide on it like this, and it has the extra wire on your torch like I keep showing you, then it's a non-touch plasma cutter or pilot arc. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below. So if you want to see a review on this machine here guys, check out that side there, I'll put one up there. And if you want to see a review on another model plasma cutter with a bit bigger torch, Check up that side, or that side, or that side, or any side really. Just, I'll put both of them up there guys. See ya, bye. Pete's Tools.com.